Alright, so what's going on guys? Jerry here. <coughs> and um, this is this the bulge effect. Um, what you saw in the beginning um, is what we're gonna do. Now you're gonna see this effect in many many big clans like FaZe, uh, Dare Soul or whatever. You, you name it. It's, it's gonna be there in one of their episodes. Maybe most of them. But you may not find that many tutorials. If you find like there's maybe only one guy or two maybe made the right tutorial on how to do this. Um but the other tutorials will, will teach you how to do bull crap with the bulge effect. Now the the right way to do to do this bulge effect is gonna be in this tutorial. It's kind of like a, a secret tutorial, <laughs> uh, tips and tricks on how they do it. Uh, yeah, and many people are asking for a Twixer syncing tutorial. I will do that, but the thing is, I have a schedule, and I just want to stick to the schedule. I will make it, so don't dislike the video or, or anything. I will make the uh, Twixer tutorial, and if, and if I sound tired, then uh, because I am tired. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I will make the tutorial maybe for Twixer Thinking maybe like two weeks from now. If not, I will have a reason, but I will try to make it. Um, yeah, so let's just preview this. I just made a quick sync. Everybody now. Just watch it. The hell those not synced. Wait. So now let me just help get the problem. Everybody now. Because I think that most of the problem it should be synced. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that was the clip and the and the edit. Um yeah, so we'll do what people will mainly tell you how to do it the normal way, the bulge. But I assure, I assure you this is not the way the big guys do it to make it look good. And we're gonna drag it like this. Not like this. Now this will look nice. But we can totally make it look better. So the the secret secrecy secrecy is a secret. <laughs> secret way to do is is using optic compensation. And that's it. Now many people will use this for zooming in whoosh kind of thingy. Yeah, let me just show you. They'll kind of do it like this. But we're not gonna do that. So what I want to do first is uncheck the, revo the reverse lens. It, it's a normal uncheck, but if it's checked, just uncheck it. And instead, we're gonna get we're gonna get this effect bulge. Okay. Now, you, this will look bad. I know there's like the black thingies. So what you want to do? Uh, go one shot, one, one frame before the shot over here, because I uh. Yeah. Oh my god, what, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, shot. Okay, so one frame. And then keyframe, field of view. And then go one frame, or maybe two. Drag it up, maybe to like 80 or 75, 76. Just 76 or 74. Okay, so there we go. And then you want to go like away, like way away, and bring it back to maybe 30 because we want that to stay there. Okay, and now to get rid of this blackness, let's go one frame behind again, press on S. For scaling, click on the keyframe, press U, 
go two frames and then drag it up until you can't see it maybe maybe this much and then go to here and bring it back to one one zero maybe okay can make it faster if you want so now we have it we have the bulge let's just watch it everybody now Mm -hmm. This may look bad, don't worry, we're gonna fix every single thing. Let's just add the quick intervention sound. <laughs> Come on. Not responding, seriously? Okay, there we go. Just add it. When does the music start? Here. Look at it. Okay, so that looked good by itself, uh, but we're gonna make it look better because that's what we do. And we're gonna add Twitch. It's a plugin you need to, you need to get. It's easy to get. But what we're gonna do is make it like 23, the amount, change it, well let's just close these. We'll make it 23 by 23, and then go to enable, and click on slide. Maybe if you want the scale. Okay. And I uh, wanna go to operation controls, go to slide, and bring the RGB a bit up. Oh, not that much. Maybe to 12. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, that's too much twitch. Okay. And now you want to go again, one frame behind the shot. Maybe. And then keyframe the amount. Go to oh shit, bring it back to zero. Sorry, bring it back to zero and keyframe the amount. And then go to two frames, bring it back to 23. And then you want to go like barely one second. Okay, so it's here, bring it back to zero. So let's check the keyframes. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, let's check the keyframes. Um, maybe a bit closer. No, let's check it out again. Wait, let me let me bring this back to zero. Oh, not zero, but to the beginning of the clip. Everybody now. Everybody now. Let's watch it. <laughs> so yeah, that looked awesome, but still, we can make it look even better. Yup. Uh, let's add exposure. Yeah, before adding exposure, just add a quick color correction. Because, like I said in my first tutorial, exposure does not does not work only if there is like it works, but it will make it look good with color correction. Um, let me check one of the presets here. Mm. 
in this one and let's duplicate it and then take one diffusion off or maybe two okay there we go and now we're gonna add exposure and yes I am tired today mm -hmm. you know what let's just do it now go like one shot be before or two frames be for the shot or one frame sorry keyframe exposure go two frames and bring it up and then you want to go to like about here and bring it back to one and let's see this beep what what did I say <sighs> I'm gonna change the color correction after for the preview this is just a quick one Everybody now. That's it. Now let's just watch it again. Everybody now. Let me just. Uh, what you can also do, um, we can add maybe, maybe you want to add some motion blur, some motion blur. Um, but I don't think you have a plugin. If you have it, just add it. Oh, maybe you want to add radial, radial blur or fast radi radial fast blur, whatever you want to make it look better. The more effects you add. The the better it's gonna be the better it's gonna be uh yeah so I hope you guys like the tutorial just suggest because I do have a schedule I will try to stick to it but if if you suggest like um a good tutorial which which can be a replacement for the next tutorial I'm gonna do then just try to comment below um. This was the effect. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.